This paper introduces Alibaba's mobile agent. This is an agent that is powered by GPT-4 Vision and it can do certain tasks for you completely on an Android operating system. This paper goes into the detail of how they ended up building this and also certain benchmarks about why this actually works. The paper title is Mobile Agent, Autonomous Multimodal Mobile Device Agent with Visual Perception. They have also shared the model code and also the scripts and everything else for you to run in this particular URL. I'm not going to go into the implementation, but I'm going to show you a couple of demos that they have shared. First of all, what is this? To clarify, this is not a separate new model. This is an agent that is built on top of GPT-4 Vision with certain tools. What is this they, they, that they have built? This is from Alibaba Group, Beijing Jiotong University. This is a, an agent, mobile agent, that can operate your computer mobile system with certain visual perception tools. There are two primary tools that are used here. One is the visual and textual element identification tool. To be very precise and specific, they're using an agent or they're building an agent that is one powered by GPT-4 vision. Next, instead of having a vanilla GPT-4 vision, they're using a text and icon detection plus OCR model. So there is a visual perception module that consists of detecting icons and text plus OCR models and uh, along with this what they have also done is they have introduced two extra modules one is a self planning module the second one is a self reflection module the self planning modules take your instruction and then plans a set of sequence of steps that they have to do and it is based on the screenshot that you provide it is based on the user instruction and it is based on the operational history so if you see this example, this is the screenshot that you would provide and this is the instruction that you would give. So this instruction and this screenshot goes inside the system and the self planning module would plan the next set of steps, what all things that they have to do. And along with the self planning module, they've got a self reflection method. The problem with this system is once you make a mistake, sometimes you just need somebody to say that you have made a mistake and they don't want a human being to do that. So what they have done is at every step, they have included a self reflection system. So the self reflection system or the self reflection module is going to see if you're doing the right job or if you're not doing the right job, then go back and then redo the previous step so that you can finish the task completely successfully. Along with this, this is the entire system of mobile agent. You have got mobile agent that is powered by GPT-4 vision with icon detection, with text detection, with OCR models and the self planning and the self reflection method. Along with that, the contribution that they have also made is they have introduced a new benchmark that is called mobile evil and that benchmark has got a bunch of different things that we'll see quickly shortly. Now, the problem with GPT-4 vision is GPT-4 vision lacks localization capability. So it cannot in easily understand things happening in a particular scene. So what they've done is they have included a visual perception, a self planning and self reflection. So you can see what the visual perception means. So for example, on a screen, if you want to tap a like for example that is the instruction all you are saying is tap a like first it has to understand a like means it is a white color heart in this particular scene and then it has to point where that particular white color heart is so they are using clip c l i p for that and for uh, identifying text they are simply using ocr and also to identify icons they are using ground dino so you can see ground dino is also available so text localization and then they have got icon localization this is to point where a particular thing is happening so you can see that if you point to a particular thing using text if you just say then they are using these techniques the text localization and the icon localization to point where that particular thing is on a particular screen this gives them the ability to guide gpt4 vision to be agentic and along with that what are the operations that it can do so this mobile agent comes with one two three four five six seven eight eight set of operations one it can open an app second it can click a text third it can click the icon fourth it can type text then page up page down go back exit and stop stop is executed when the entire instruction is completed that means everything is done the agent has to halt and that is where stop is executed if you are telling like for example open gmail then it will go open an app if you are saying okay uh, click 
where uh, gmail is present then it is has to identify locate where the text gmail is and then it has to click that particular area the same goes for an icon like if you say like this video then it has to identify where that icon is and then it has to click the like and then it can type for example you say that uh, give me all the uh, future weather predictions of bengaluru in the notes app then it is going to first do all those things and finally open a notes app and then type all these things then scroll up scroll down go Go back to a previous screen exit if you want to come back to the home page and stop finally the self planning module is nothing but it is going to iteratively plan what to do and this is going to happen based on three things one it is going to use the screenshot the second it is going to use the prompt that the user has given and then finally it is going to use the operations history so instruction the screenshot and the operations history using all these things it is going to plan what to do next what is the next step? What is the next step? Where does it stop? It is going to do all those things. But then the thing is like we have seen with LLMs time and time again, not everything is roses and gardens. Is it? Is it roses and gardens? Anyways, not everything is rosy. So people like humans, LLMs make mistakes, but when they make mistake, you need somewhere a system to say, okay, I've made a mistake. And that is what they're calling it as a self reflection method and the self reflection method is going to see when an agent has generated an incorrect or an invalid operation that could make the entire system to be stuck and that is where the self reflection system will show that okay you have made a mistake and it is going to instruct the agent to try an alternative operation or modify its parameters and this will help the agent to um, go back and then do things. If it has overlooked certain requirements, it is going to help it to recorrect or recourse or redirect the course and then do things from what it has already self planned. And it also follows a certain prompt format. This is a react framework re act act framework it's a very popular paper i don't i'm not sure like if we covered it before or not it has three components one is an observation thought and action observation is just a description by the agent of the current screenshot whatever you gave based on that it is going to create the observation and based on the history of operations this helps the agent to understand what is happening and uh, thought represents agents consideration of the next step what agent wants to do that is thought and from that action comes an action requires the agent to choose one of the eight operations and parameters based on the thought. So you have got observation based on the observation you come up with the thought and based on the thought one of these actions are picked one of these actions and from that it will happen uh, whatever that it has to do to quickly show what kind of benchmark that they have got. So they give you three types of prompt for each application. For example, if it is Alibaba.com, one prompt is help me find caps in Alibaba.com. The second one is help me find caps in Alibaba.com. If the add to cart is available in the item information page, please add the item to my cart. And then the third prompt is much vague. All you're saying is I want to buy a cap. I've heard things are cheap on Alibaba.com. Maybe you can find it for me. So you're not specifically saying go to Alibaba.com and find it. You're just vaguely saying I want to buy a cap and uh, things are cheap on Alibaba. Maybe you can find it for me like that for every application. They have got an instruction for Gmail. For example, send an empty email to address, send an empty email to the address to tell my new work. I want to let my friend know my new work and his address is this find an app to help me. So the LLM here, the agent here, the mobile agent has to identify that I want to send the email through Gmail and it has to do it. So as you can see, the first one is easier. The second one is relatively difficult. And then the third one is uh, much harder because it has to generalize much more. And with this benchmark, there are four metrics that they use. First metric is SU success metric. If everything that the agent has done successfully completed all the instructions, that is SU, you get one score. Next one is process score. What is a process score? The process score, this is a metric that measures the accuracy of each step in the execution of instruction. Specifically, it equals the number of correct steps divided by the total number of steps. So if you have to 10 steps that is planned, if the 10 steps are successfully executed, then you get a score of one. So although the agent may not ultimately succeed in some instruction, each correct step contributes to a planning score. So you have planned 12 steps. Maybe the 10th step is not successfully done. So then you will lose a score, but ultimately 12 is the total number of steps that it has planned. The next one is relative efficiency. This is 
with respect to human being manually performing the same task, how efficient this is. So this is like baseline, the optimal solution is human beings and you want to see how mobile agent is doing. And finally, completion rate. So we calculate the number of human operated steps that the mobile agent is able to complete divided by the total number of steps taken by a human. So this is just again to see if human has taken 10 steps, how many of those 10 steps the mobile agent has successfully managed to complete. Now with this information, the four metrics, success, process score, relative efficiency and completion rate. If you see this particular chart for the first instruction, second instruction, third instruction, you can see the success rate is quite good. You can see a really good success rate for the first instruction because the first instruction is very straightforward and easy. And the third instruction, which is the most difficult of all, you can see that there are two into marks like Amazon Music did not go well. Gmail did not go well because it didn't understand that it has to send the email through Gmail. Okay, I can understand it. For the second instruction, it did not go to Alibaba.com, which is very surprising. And it did not go to Gmail, which is also very surprising to be honest. But then if you see the process score, uh, you can see the process score sometimes is not one. But even then it has successfully completed, which you can easily attribute uh, to the self-reflecting module that you have got. So it's worth noting that PS values for instructions, some instructions don't reach one indicating that the mobile agent may take some invalid and incorrect operations. However, in these cases, mobile instructions were completed. Ultimately, this suggests that mobile agent possesses good reflective capabilities, self-reflective capabilities. This is crucial for mobile device agents because like humans, they cannot guarantee that all operations are right correct and agents must have the ability to correct the errors. I think for me, the most important takeaway of this entire paper is how they have managed to set up a self reflective system that the agent verifies at every step to make sure that if they have made a mistake, they're not going to go in that particular path and then make the mistake or keep on making the mistake. They can come back and then fix it and then go forward in a separate route or like even the previous step that can help the agent successfully complete. And that's why you have more completion rate. You can see good amount of completion rate. And that's why you have good amount of successes despite the agent missing certain processes, despite the agent not being relatively good with respect to human, you can see the success has successfully happened primarily because the agent has got a good, really good self reflecting capability. And there are like a bunch of demos that you can see. One of the demos that I wanted to highlight is how the error correction happens. So in this demo, uh, the instruction has been given so swipe a video about a pet cat and TikTok and comment. Oh, so cute. So all you have to do is the agent has to first know that it has to open TikTok because you're not saying open the TikTok. You're saying that swipe a video about a pet cat and TikTok. Just comment. Oh, so cute. Now it has to open TikTok. It did. It has to page down. That means it has to like scroll up and down, like scroll down, scroll down. And once you see the cat video, then you have to click text, add comment. So it has to know where to click comment. So technically it has to click here to comment it, but uh, it by mistake click something else. That means it went back to a different screen. It went back to a wrong screen. And the self reflective capability of this mobile agent says that you went back. So you have to go back. So it comes back. It clicks the back button because that is one of the actions. If you remember out of the eight actions, one of the action is go back, click the icon here, speech icon here, and then add O oh, um, or whatever is so cute or whatever it is here. And then it just posts it. And after it posts it, it knows that it has to stop. So this is how the workflow is. Even though it made a mistake, it came back and fixed it and then it posted and it successfully finished the particular task. And you can see much more examples here that actually indicates the same thing. Like if at every step, it would do something. For example, check the temperature in the next five days, then create a note in the notes, write a temperature analysis. It opens the weather app. You're not explicitly saying that it has to open the weather app. It opens the weather app. It sees the forecast. It opens the notes app. It pays everything, it comes back and then it stops because it knows that is a point that it has to stop. I think this is quite a brilliant effort. And if you're wondering how this particular system is different from a lot of other systems, that is also something that they've highlighted. So this system is purely visual. 
it does not use any other information unlike previous systems so there are there were systems agents for mobile device that were built using gpt4 vision but they were able to manipulate the region of apps ui with semi transparent tags by invoking xml files from the android system and unlike that they, this is purely visual like completely visual and uh, i'm i cannot like stop but uh, think uh, that how does it compare with the lamb that the rabbit systems or the rabbit r1 company claim to have like the lamb which they are saying large action model that the rabbit has been saying i'm not sure how well this compares or generalizes with that i feel like this would generalize much better than what they claim to be lamb and i i would someday love to see a comparison if we can do it but if you want to use this you can click this link and go use it i don't i don't have gpt for vision but there is a lot of setup that you have to do like enable the developer mode uh, use adb and all the other things but despite all these things i kind of like this paper where it takes the current llm space and moves it to the agent space and also implements it for android application android os which would ultimately end up uh, making a lot of automation within android more comfortable especially for visually challenged people and all the other things but i cannot also stop thinking um, because this would also increase the android click form if you know what does it mean and it might also have increase a lot of spams and other things that would happen in the world but yeah every every sword has two sides and uh, this is a double edged sword as well uh, if you have any question let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting